up, home slices? Um, so this Beyond 2012 book is extremely informative. I'm just going to give you two, two truths um, I discovered from it. Uh, we all know about the Sphinx, but did you know that the Sphinx actually represents uh, the four the four uh, figures that was that was um, seen by Ezekiel in the Apocalypse, the the wheels within wheels, that UFO passage in the Bible, Ezekiel, um, where it was you know the head the the alien or angel had the head of a eagle, a man, uh, a bull, and a lion. Now those are the exact signs of uh, the fixed uh, constellations in. The zodiac. So, the Sphinx represents the fixed signs of the zodiac. Aquarius man, Scorpio eagle back in the day was also associated with eagle, and then Leo lion, you know, Taurus bull. The Sphinx is an astrological monument, not just astronomical. Um, so, this makes sense. I mean, the zodiac of Dendera true could have only been dated from about 200 BC, not 2000, from the original Egyptians. But who knows uh, what they labeled the stars of the zodiac. It's like, if astrology is older than antiquity, the Sphinx is exactly demonstrating this idea, especially since it was made in 10,000 BC because of the Awad erosion. couldn't be possible until prior to 10,000 BC when there's actual rain in Egypt. Whew. Anyway, um, this other thing I found out was that there's an actual scientific study in, in 1997 by a man by the name of Spottiswood, Spot James P. Spottiswood. This is incredible stuff. What he did was an actual ESP experiment, in which you know people were were you know supposed to read cards or whatever that they couldn't see, and there was a four hundred and fifty percent increase within certain hours of the day, and a three hundred and forty uh, in percent increase with in trials within that one hour. I'll link you to the paper and stuff right here. It's it's incredible, and I don't know why this wasn't on the cover of Time or something. It's just underground science that's proving metaphysical, scientific, uh, meta, like, anti-scientific uh, theories. Um, this, the scary, cool, awesome, straight-up genius part is that the hours in which ESP rose by almost 500% was exactly when the constellation, constellation Sagittarius A was right above the horizon of the Earth. Sagittarius is right where the Milky Way center is. Brosifs, do y'all get this? There was an increase of noise uh, whenever that time of day, getting all that energy from those, I don't know, aliens helping us become psychic or any other life form in general increases um, the subtlety effect of a psychic encounter. Now all this means is that during uh, certain times of day psychic increase, uh, psychic ability does increase. And the actual name of the paper is kind of a mouthful. It's called the apparent association between the effect size and free response anomalous cognition experiments and local sidereal time. So what he's saying is there, there's an association between the reaction rates between uh, certain uh, chemicals and stuff and the time of day it is. That is retarded because Newton, Newton thought all this Newton mechanics stuff says that the world is the same no matter what. There's no, there's no uh, increase or decrease or anything. But, you know, this is proving this wrong that there is an ether and Time does affect consciousness. This is what this means. In a nutshell, this means that the 2012 alignment, when our whole solar system is in the Milky Way, not just the horizon Earth, but the whole solar system is going to be on that Sagittarius Milky Way. <sighs> it's it's he has he mentions it in here that the Mayan Mayan calendar might uh, well not him him Geoff Stray mentions it in the Beyond 2012 book that the Mayan calendar is exactly what this cycle is calculating. Okay, now I, th I just find this extremely intriguing because, well, obviously, because all my other fucking videos talk about the Milky Way Center as the source of life and light in our being. And this is a scientific experiment that was done 13 years ago. Okay, great stuff. Catch you later.